What's up everybody, my name is Vince, welcome to the channel. Time and time again, I get the question, what's the best drill bits, Vince? What's the best drill bits for metal? What's the best drill bits for wood? What are the best drill bits made out of? Who sells the best drill bits? Today, we're gonna go over some drill bits and you're gonna get a look at them like you've never seen them before. It's all coming right up after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. Welcome back. And as you can see here, we have many different types of drill bits. We have the standard twist bits. We have a step bit. We have an auger style bit. We have self-feed spaddle bits in two varieties here. The drill bits that will accomplish the most tasks and get you more bang for your buck are definitely twist bits. They're made for wood. They're made for plastics. They're made for metal. When you use them the correct way, they can accomplish those tasks flawlessly. Let's talk about the construction of the drill bits themselves and why they work so well. Whether you're using the Skill 135 degree split point or Milwaukee's Red Helix Titanium 135 degree split point, you could pretty much be guaranteed that you're going to get a drill bit that can quickly cut through metal, wood, plastics, do it effectively. And why is that? Because of their construction, what we have is a cutting head that has two sharp cutting edges, extremely, extremely sharp. We talked about that 135 degree split point that eliminates walking mostly. When used in metal, those extremely sharp cutting edges, it shaves off unbelievably hard steel. L little shavings at a time. And what happens is it travels up these flutes. Amazing. Now, the same drill bit also works amazing in plastics because of the same sharp cutting heads and we're able to cut through plastics, and even wood quicker and deeper because of the flutes, this fluted area. You can see it's a corkscrew. People don't realize all the cutting happens here at the very point of the drill bit. Everything else that's here is nothing more than a way to convey the material out of the hole to make way for the cutting head to continue on. It's pretty amazing stuff. I want to illustrate it right now through metal. I'm going to show you how it will shave this steel and the best technique to use with this steel. It's like going to the grocery store to maybe pick up laundry detergent. When you get to the shelf, it's like, oh, what's this? H-E laundry detergent and standard and this smell and that smell and this one you could get 10 loads and that one you could get 20 loads. And there's so many choices. Sometimes you just say to yourself, don't they just have simple old laundry detergent? Like I just need to get the job done. Here's the reality, sometimes, the simplest drill bits or most readily available are the best for the job. These are so versatile that they should be in everyone's toolbox. We're gonna to make a little witness mark here on the steel. Walking would be when you'd place your drill bit onto the material you're looking to drill through and without that 135 degree split point, this drill bit might move because of the rotation of the drill bit, it could walk. That's what walking would be. Depending on if you're leaning a certain direction, maybe it would walk to the left, but generally it would walk to the right. These split point bits eliminate that. Now, best way to drill through metal would be to use low speed, high torque, low speed, we're gonna put down some oil to keep the tip of that drill bit cool. And we're going to use moderate force when pressing down. We want to apply pressure to the tip of the drill bit so those cutting heads can shave away this steel. There's not much in the way of walking. Pretty awesome, pretty amazing. You can see 
we literally cut out our witness mark. We shaved away, and you can look and see, like, look at these shavings. They're just thin shavings. Look, they're like little corkscrews of metal that have been cut out. What's even more impressive is that you could drill through this PVC because it's such a th thin wall material here. You could drill in speed one if you wanted more control. I personally prefer to drill in speed two just because it gets the job done quicker. Once again, you can see that drill bit, all it did was shave off that PVC. This is stuff that you really can't even catch with the naked eye. It's pretty amazing. Where would high speed or speed two really come in effective with this? That would happen best when drilling through wood. Twist bits, I know what you're thinking, they do such a great job with metal and plastic. Are they really good at drilling out wood? And they are because of that very sharp cutting head. And there's another feature to this. I talked about it earlier, I, I touched on it. We're gonna illustrate it right now, why they're so good at drilling in wood in not only shallow holes, okay? Maybe, maybe you know, thin woods, even two by fours, but deeper members as well, why they're so good. Drilling through this nice thick piece of dug fur that has plenty of sap still in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our drill set in speed two, and there's a reason you want to, when drilling through this thicker wood, be in speed two, high speed. There is a lot going on that people don't take into account. When you see the pulsing of the drill, that is that ultra sharp cutting head making contact with the wood fibers, the layers of wood and slicing it away. You can see this is cut in thin, thin fibers. So it made sawdust. The reason you want to do that as quickly as possible, especially through thicker material, is the flutes of this twist bit. They're not there for just show. These flutes, as the material is sliced away, it's moved up those flutes and out of the hole. That's why twist bits are so great at drilling through deeper and thicker material. As this drill bit is spinning, it's ejecting the sawdust from the bottom of the hole, allowing the cutting head to make contact with fresh wood, new wood, wood that needs to be drilled through. Very, very effective, effective, effective bit. So when people ask me, hey, what's the best drill bit for wood? A lot of times I will answer them, twist bits, a good twist bit, whether it be cobalt, titanium, black oxide. People ask me, what's the best drill bit for metal? A lot of times my answer will be a twist bit. I think you're gonna wanna go with something like cobalt or titanium, but you can see here, these are a gold oxide blade. They did just fine in the metal. So a good twist bit, PVC, a good twist bit. One of the most versatile bits you could chuck into your drill. And if you like having versatility, smash the like button, leave it down below. Which twist bits do you like best? Also, do you wanna see explanations of other types of drill bits? We wanna know. With that, I wanna say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.